Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. We've talked to pretty much everybody in this area that we can, and uh, now we're going to be traveling to Valen. Before we do that, however, I am going to go ahead and uh, just craft a couple of the things that we have outstanding here. So uh, we'll get our Dragon's Dream going. We seem to have enough um, of the ingredients for that. We've got Samum as well. And then we also have, uh, cat potions down here. And I figure we might as well use these because, uh, whenever we rest, we'll get those full refills going. Uh, side note, the tree for alchemy is actually quite strong looking. And it might be something that I invest in down the road. But, um, yeah, at least a couple areas. Anyways, so. Let's travel to Valen, I guess. Hangman's tree? Yep, sounds inviting. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So yeah, that revelation was pretty shocking for me. Um, wasn't something that was discussed up to the point I read in the books. And, uh, apparently is something that happens much later in the books, but, uh... Very interesting nonetheless. Okay, so I should make sure as well that uh, we're loaded up in the best gear for ourselves. It looks like we just went into what we had previously, so that should be okay. No, it's not good. This is not what we want. I think we're good for our silver swords. Trousers wise, hunting trousers. Maybe cavalry trousers. Cavalry boots. And what we really need to do is we need to find somebody with... We need to find somebody that um, can buy all of our stuff. Somebody was saying, well, you have the saddle, but uh, we already have a saddle equipped, so I can't re-equip that. I need to find a better saddle than the one that I have, so... Here we go. Got wild dogs. It's a very inviting area, that's for sure. Not so fast, Roach. Okay, yeah, so we've got a notice board. Let's go ahead and hit this up first of all. See what kind of things we're going to be working on. Uh, warning, good folk, if you see any wonders hanging in the woods, such as treats fit for Yule time dangling off branches, ginger bakings, honeyed apples, fritters, or pies, then no matter how fierce your belly growls, turn back. Whoever partakes of these treats is never seen among the living again. Okay. <laughs> Help us send him off to whomever has eyes to read. Uh, the other day, our Falibor died. We've no means to bury him properly, not a white shirt in the house, nor cloth for a shroud, nor planks for a coffin. If there's aught you can spare, help please. If we don't send him off to the next world proper like, he'll haunt us all in revenge. Okay. Nin Evelyn Skoetel Marv. Came up wood hole and shade. Dargenfall un Ian Nunau Ima Duan. Ested. Okay, well, I wonder what that's about. A warning. In lonely woods, screams carry long, shadows creep far in deep dark dale. Beware ye when the grove's wild song, or in the wild will end your tale. 
a plea. Kind folk, for lack of better fare, I fed my youngins pancakes made of ground acorn. The poor tykes have lain on the straw for three days since, their bellies growling something awful, getting sick and crying without end. If you know how to help, come to my hut. I've not to give in return, but a warm word and a prayer of thanks. And we could probably help out. And a missing wife. Many people take pity and hear my plea, are good people. My wife Hannah, she's missing. A few days ago she went into the woods and she hasn't yet returned. I'm near out of my wits with worry and will pay any price to the man who brings her back to me, or at least tells me where to look for her. Neelan, the hunter from Blackbow. Okay. That's the approach. Gods. Full moon soon. Bar your windows to <sighs> an iron stud in the door frame. Whoa! Run, Roach. We'll be back here, people. Forces attacked. One from either side. Cavalry sweet. Step away. Chaplain's praying. Can't you see? Do not cast him out, Broderick. All men. That's it, Roach. Well, of the eternal fire's grave. Come on now. Okay, I will approach. It kind of looks like, uh... Death Mold, almost. What do you want? Never mind. No, we Rejoice! Don't. For even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it if it's profitable, for sure. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. <laughs> the more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. <laughs> Once I've incinerated and the all bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Okay, funeral pyres. So we need to burn the bodies lying in pits on the battlefield. And then see him again. Okay, let's keep heading to Mul- is it Mulbrydale or Mulbrydale? Hey okay, quest difficulty. Some quests might be too difficult for you at the moment. Each quest has a suggested level shown next to its name. Once your character reaches that level, you're ready to take on that quest. So I think you- like, you can do it. It's just not suggested, correct? Find out a Siri is in Velen. We also have Wild at Heart, which is the Hunter. Uh, we have the Pyres, which we could definitely get done very quickly, very easily. And then, what is this? Uh, in Novograd, win Steppen's unique card. Okay, I like that. I like that. Hey there. Oh. I heard that. Slower. I'm a bit worried here in the fact that we're overburdened and we might not be able to move. But if we get rid of a bunch of the stuff that we're not needing, I'm going to keep this elegant stuff because it's worth a ton. I'll pick this back up before we ride into town. I just would feel bad just leaving these guys here, yelling for help, and we just kind of walk away. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Took me a little too long to get my Quen going there. We haven't been in combat for a while. <laughs> Was this guy calling me by name? Me the next ones come. I don't think so. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it a bit. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down, tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. I have no reason not to help you. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd lead me to die. We've got a good five days of beard growth happening I'd like as well, to thank so. You but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. I have a feeling we're gonna run into him again soon. Blood Moss, that's a new one. Oh, Buckthorn, typical. Whoa there, Roach. I guess we could run right through the water, but... Hold on, what's this? Another one? I just realized that I left all of our uh, extra weaponry back here. Okay, let's hustle, Roach. If we can get to the inn early, there might be a game of Gwent in it for us. Duh! A stranger! <laughs> Saw him over there! Jacko! Strangers coming! Run for your lives! Am I the stranger everybody's running from? Trust me, I'm the least of your worries right now. Okay, we've got a few more here. A plea for lack of better fairy fed my youngest. Okay, so that's the same one. Guide wanted. I need a man to guide me and my family across the Pontar. Five of us in all, me, my wife, three youngins. But they're calm, not the crying or yelling sort won't give us away to the soldiers. I'm not rich, but whatever I've got, I'll give. In fact, I'll take on debt and go to someone's service. Anything, as long as it gets me out of Elen. Please, someone hear my plea. Rados. See yourself informed, every man with a producing milch cow is obligated to bring it to Crow's Perch after the week's end. After that, we found a cow in any man's yard. We'll give him 50 lashes on the spot, the man, not the cow, and take all other goods of his we can carry. Anyone reporting a man hiding a cow will get a sack of grain as reward. Sergeant Ardle. See any wonders hanging in the woods, such as streets fit? Yeah, we read this one. And missing Michael. My trueborn brother, Michael, or Michael, is missing. Anyone who finds him, or at least finds out what fate has met him, will be generously rewarded. And I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the Inn at the crosswords. Crossroads. Bruno. Beautiful. We just happened to be there. Ah, 
Ask the agent called Hendrick at the inn at the crossroads. Pour me another, love. You've had enough. No wench will ration my vodka. Poor damn it. Before you taste the back of me hand. What do you want? There's no way to treat a lady. Who rules this land now? Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? By his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? Are you Hendrik? You Hendrik? No. Don't narrow with that. <laughs> It'll bring trouble. Doesn't seem so confident. So long. High time we went home. Yeah, I agree. We'll go once I've drunk. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Does it matter? Give me a bottle of something strong. Now this could either be the best timing or the worst timing, depending on who's on the You've opposite side of that door. I'll open the back way for you. <laughs> I haven't finished my drink, though. Haven't finished my drink yet. In cape, vodka. Who's this? Uh, brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Don't worry about it. I only need Wonder one. If he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too, <laughs> you fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Oh man. Uh, defuse the situation. Drinks on me? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. Yeah. Smart. Which way might yours be? Away. Even if he knows we're going to Novigrad, what does it matter? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and homebunders. So how about that drink? Uh, let's, well, let's ask. Who are you? Oh, I. And why do you care? Like to know who I'm drinking with. Like to know who I'm drinking with. Just like you. We're the Baron's men. And you're in his land. And who's this Baron? A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving, too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no. He's not like to piss his britches at the side of a black-winged head. This is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want it. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage them to speak their mind. <laughs> Cheers then, guys. To your health. And mine. Bottoms up! Did this actually get us out of here? Alive and in one piece without having to murder everyone? If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. Beautiful. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I say, probably destroyed. Horsons always manage to hide their lap. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other Tell side me it's the nearby. Hill. Yep. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? And what do you know about this guy? 
Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Which means he probably knows when we're coming as well. <laughs> oh, this is the man from the notice board, I believe. A witcher. And not a second too soon. Yeah, I'm here about your contract. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The uh, women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad. So Mickle took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain at least. And I've not had word from him since. Okay, and what about our reward? Could look into it. If you paid me more. Oh, this is actually a significant chunk. Let's say we call it around 300. Just a smidgen too high, that. Okay. What about meet me in the middle at 290? Just a smidgen too high, that. Okay, cool. What about uh, 285? All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't. That's kind of cool how that it's works. A deal. <laughs> I'll look for him. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. Well, we don't know. But if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear him into the hills, he'd only ruin him. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. Half skin, ankle boots. Great. Okay. Is there anybody else in here? Doesn't look like it. Innkeep, you don't happen to uh, want to buy a few swords, hmm. do you? Great change. Let's ask about this here. How did the Bloody Baron get his name? Bloody Baron? How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. Hmm. Uh, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. I'd say so. Well, a week before, it massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. <laughs> far fewer heard that story. Okay, fair enough. Has he been here long? Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they owe the land, They'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Hmm. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Okay, so he doesn't have a ton of money. He does have some Gwent cards, which is not something I should be spending money money on. But I kind of want to. I do need Cherry Cordial, actually, to prepare something. So I'm gonna buy that. Oh, he won't even buy my stuff. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody else. Candy. I mean, these foods are so not worth selling. Maybe wolf's liver, because I can get 30, 30 crowns. 
This one's worth quite a bit. Torch. Yeah, he's not interested in anything. But some of these Gwent cards could be beneficial. These are Nilf Guardian Empire faction. Looks like we could start to build that out a bit. Thanks. Farewell. So if we go into our alchemy, we have what is it? It's alcoholist that we can make now, right? This is pretty good. Now, do we have to craft this every time? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And it's probably better. We could probably just buy alcoholist, no? Hmm. Wouldn't mind. He has, well, he has Cherry Cordial. We find a significant amount of it, I think, so... Kind of interesting. I don't know if that's, if it's better to try and buy it places, or if we should be crafting Thanks. it. Farewell. Or creating it. Now I need to find the blacksmith in town. I'm sure there is one. You hear that? That's crazy. Look at them, they're just going around like accosting people. Carny vettles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. I'm not saying that I'm much better for scouting his house for potential things to thief, but. Do we not have an indication of... Holy... Wow. <laughs> we got a notice board way out here. We've got a whole bunch of notice boards. Okay. Valen is huge. This is no white orchard. This is serious. You've got to be kidding. Nope, nope, nope. Come on now. So let's take a little look here. There's maybe a couple things we could do and hopefully find a blacksmith. But maybe we could do like the funeral pyres, burn the bodies. Look at this. Okay, do we have one that's closer than any others? Not really. Let's head out in this direction. Run, Roach. The problem is we may run into a situation where... Yeah. Sure stinks like a mass grave. This now, this situation. Wells. Hope they burn well. Come on, Roach. It's cool. Getting pretty good at this. As I whiff. Come on. It's just the only thing is we can only go in for like one swipe at a time. Roach gets freaked out. Come 
Let's take it easy. It's been done. A shot of Igni. There's one group. Okay. So what I'd like to do is head to this next small town, hopefully find like a weaponsmith or an armorer, somebody that would buy what I need them to. We've been through Mulberry Dale. What about like this place with another notice board? Let's give it a shot. I'm not gonna stop it anywhere along the way for this one. Only because us being overburdened is uh, not conducive to fighting. kidding me? Whoa. We have to come back. I would really like to help, but we're going to be hindering more than helping. Lindenvale. Hey, perfect. The first place that we see. Hope you guys are awake. Please wake up. I need your help. He's not into it. Okay, well, a couple things we could do then, in the meantime. Let's get our swallow going, so that when we do rest to wait, we'll get that refilled. Okay, that's close enough. Let's go to, let's say... What time do you think he wakes up? Nine? There he is. Trusty arms for all sorts. Steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk. Engraved knuckle dusters for the ladies. Are you a master weaponsmith? Master quality weapons. You capable of making them? Who do you think I am? A Tory. <laughs> a Tory? The master craftsman of Novagrad. Oh, well, okay. Everyone's heard of him. Says he's retired now, so no. Ain't no Novagrad one can do is what where you we ask. can do that. Show me your wares. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of a few things. So the Dorian sword can go. The Velen long sword can go. Novigrad long sword. Velen long sword. We need our steel sword because that's. Uh, do we need the steel sword? I don't know if these are worth holding on to. I know we should hold on to some of the armor. 
And like this saddle, should I sell this because it's the same as the one that we have, right? So it's kind of tough to say. We'll get rid of the Skelly Gambeson. We'll keep these things in case we ever need to dress up fancy-like. They're actually not that worth that, worth that much in here. Trousers, hunting trousers, Nilfgaardian trousers. I guess again we can maybe save a couple of them. Or one pair. Elegant boots. At least we have like one nice outfit. We could sell the other two, I suppose. And now he's broke. But at least we got lots go lots done. We could dismantle like the rest. Craft something for me. Okay. I don't know if it's really worth it, because we just need the money. I don't really need leather scraps and the like. Let's play a round of Gwent, and then uh, that's where we will take we a break. get some cards in too, I'll be a happy man. He's probably awesome. So yeah, up at the top we have the different um, factions, and we don't have enough cards for any others. Asides from the Northern Realms, so uh, we're gonna keep going with these. I do think maybe switching out Let's say Maybe one of our Ballistas because we have so many At least we had so many the last time we played in the uh, in the pickup Let's drop that, and let's bring in... Could bring in a Crinford Reaver. Ah, uh, maybe not, because we don't have multiple of him to really benefit. Alright, let's start. Scoia'tael goes first, that's cool. Got a couple of mid-level cards, got a low-level card. Yeah, it's a good variety. These guys pair well together. One of the problems in the last set of games that I played was that I had too many weather cards, and I almost wonder if I should discard one. We have mostly... Well, we have a good variety. Let's get rid of the impenetrable fog. Ah. Okay, cool. I'll take that decoy for sure. Yep. Little basic strategy there, sure. Now, if I decoy this, I'll get this card back and just leave him with two cards played. So I think I'm going to do that. I don't know that, if that's the best strategy. Yeah, perfect. He's going to keep playing cards. I don't know what that does. Whoa. Find any cards with the same name in your deck and play them instantly? That's huge. That's huge. So I'll give him this round. Takes him down to seven cards, I mean. I'm gonna go for a ranged approach here. Now he can go on either, it looks like. Is that what that was? Can be placed in either close combat or ranged combat role cannot be moved. Okay, so if he's gonna go with that approach, I'm gonna go with my ranged approach. So 
he's passed. That's fine. Because I could ice him out, right? That's what I'm holding on to here. Did he pass again? Alright, cool. Here we go. And my special I always forget about, but pick an Impenetrable Fog card. Okay, good. So I should almost... I shouldn't even put Impenetrable Fog in here because... Well, I have to have it in the deck to use it. So regardless. Good thing is, is if he does throw down a weather card, I'll be able to clear it out, so... Right, he went middle this time. Now we're pretty much just gonna lay it all on the table. There, he did it. I just have to hope that he... That's okay, he's not going to expect it. We're still beating him even with this. So if I pass, I should win. Right? Is there anything crazy that can happen to me? Okay. We took a couple coins off him. I'm good with it. All right, so we're unburdened. We are in a new area. We've got a lot of stuff to do since we're here. Oh, we got a new, a, a new uh, Gwent card for beating him, I presume? We'll enhance our weapons and then, oh. Use special armors tables to temporarily enhance your armor. Doing so grants a bonus to your armor trait. Where do we find an armorer's table? Oh, cool. All right, good to know. So there can be two of them. All right, guys, we're going to take a break here when we come back. Uh, well, honestly, we have a lot to do. This makes me very excited and very nervous at the same time. But I'm going to try and tackle these things as organically as possible. So when we have somewhere that we need to go to, then that's where we're going to go and try to handle things along the way. Uh, if you guys have advice on how to tackle this, totally cool. I'll uh, take it into consideration. Looks like these are the boats that we can use to travel to different areas. This is so cool. I love it. I'm actually in love with this game. Don't know if you can tell, but I love it. So thank you guys for all the support. Seriously mean that. And uh, yeah, I know some of these episodes have been a bit longer. My goal is to have them around 30 minutes or so. Um, just as kind of a cool little test to see how many people watch till the very end. I'm gonna say that the code word here for watching to this point is White Wolf. So if you put White Wolf in the comments, then I will know that you're making it this far, and I appreciate you that much more. Just kidding, I appreciate everyone equally. See you soon, guys. Oh, look at this. Okay, bye.